Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Lead Code question 2571 that says minimum operation to reduce an integer to 0. So uh, as the question says that you need to reduce an integer to 0. So you here you will be given one positive integer n and in order to reduce to 0, what you can do, you can add or subtract power of 2 from that end, correct? You can either add some power of 2, let's, that is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 or you can subtract those numbers, correct? And in the end, you need to return minimum number of operation to make n equal to 0. So each time you do something that is add or subtract, it counts as an operation. So that's why uh, here at the end, you need to perform minimum oper operations to reduce the number to 0. Okay, now if you have something like n equal to 39, then yeah, what you can do is uh, you can add 1, that is 2 to the power 0, 1. So n becomes now 40. Then you can subtract 2 to the power 3, that is 8. So it becomes 32. Then you can again subtract this 32 now n becomes 0 so as you guys can see that in three operation we reduce this 39 to 0 correct similarly 54 what they have did is that they have added 2 then they have added 8 then they subtracted 64 correct so the n becomes 0 at this point so here also three operations are performed to make n to 0 okay uh, and yeah in the and in the end and this is a constant you can say 10 to the power 5 so this is a pretty much okay constraints like uh, here where the n square approach won't work and you have to do something better here okay so yeah let me uh, give you one example see let's say you have something any number let's say 51 okay you need to reduce it to zero so this is the thing what we are doing we have you have some integer and you have to reduce it to zero see there are two ways uh, for any number to reduce to zero how Either you somehow make it this 51. See if you uh, let me uh, uh, first write the power of 2, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. See up till here. So either you can convert this 51 to 32 somehow, like with x operation. So this 32 can be converted to 0 in one operation, or you convert this 51 to 64 in some y operation, and this 64 can be easily converted to 0 in one operation. So here, if you go this way, then you have see, x plus 1 operation and you here you have y plus one operation correct and you need to take minimum of both of these correct so as you guys can see here that here you have choices let's say we can not directly convert 51 to 0 we either have to make it to 32 or 64 see this is these are this both are uh, the nearest power of 2 from the left hand side and from the right hand side correct so these are the nearest power of 2 so that's why i'm talking i'm telling you that these are the two choices okay and whenever what you have choices then what you can do you can may write a recursive solution right recursive solution so that's why based on this choices that we arrive to what we arrive to this point to this intuition that a recursive solution will work here because of we have choices and and what we are returning we are returning minimum minimum of some let's say this d1 and d2 so this okay so now let me explain you that how we will write a uh, code for this recursive solution so let's say if you have 50, the same example if you have uh, 51 and you need to convert it to 32 or you need to convert it to 64 so first let us we have to take the difference like 30 to 50 to uh, what is the difference of 51 and 32 that is 19 and here what is the difference 51 and 64 13 okay so what we so uh, originally what we have to do we have to reduce this 19 to what this 19 to 0 that means whenever the difference will reduce the 0 then 15 will become 32 itself simple as it is see to in to convert this 51 to 32 the difference is 19 and we what we are trying to make we are trying to make this 19 0 now now we are trying to make this difference as 0 simple as it is similarly you are trying to reduce this difference to 0 then only we can say that 51 equals to 64 so yeah here what in the end of recursive sol a call what we will do we will again call this function right we will again because this is a recursive code so what we will do we will again call this function that is operation on this difference one comma operations on this difference two and yeah and this is how we will co how we will solve this question we are uh, originally what we are doing we are trying 15 to convert to 32 in order to do that we are trying to reduce the difference between 15 and 32 to 0 now in order to reduce this 19 to 0 what we have to check we have to check any number that is uh, means the power that is less than 19 and power that is greater than 19 and this difference that is between 16 and 19 how much it is 3 between 19 and 32 
that is 30 we have to now try to reduce this this difference to zero correct this difference to zero then we again call this function so yeah i hope you guys understood this that every time we are trying to uh, reduce the difference to zero in order to do that we are calling the function we are calling the function again and this is how the recursion works simple as it is so yeah i hope uh, i hope you guys understood that now let me show you the code so that you will get much more idea and understanding of what we are doing here okay so uh, let me also take one marker so what is this condition see uh, uh, but before that let us see that we are calling the recursive call here so this is a recursive code okay now this is the base condition so let's say if you have and something like 8 or 16 that are itself power of 2 that are itself power of 2 then what we will do we will return 1 by 1 because let's say if you have n equal to 16 then we have been only one operation that is minus 16 or my, if you have n as h then directly subtracting h that is in one operation you can uh, get the answer so we return 1 so this is our base condition every recursive solution has a terminating or base condition correct so yeah this is the base condition for this now what is this low and high see if you have i i already told you that if you have something like 51 then you have to find the power of 2 that is lower than 51 so let, here it is 32 and power of 2 that is higher than uh, 15 that is 64 so these are itself this low and high okay uh, and also uh, if you are confused that what is this log of 2 log so this is log uh, of n base 2 this is log of n base 2 correct so let's say if you have something this log of n base 2 of let's say let's say 51 itself then what's what this will return this will return uh, uh, what it will return it will return the number this uh, it will return the this how 32 is formed that is the power of 2 raised to 5 so what this will return this will return 5 this this will return 5 and by doing 2 to the power 5 what you will get you will get 32 simple as it is and if you want something like this this is higher 64 then what you will do you will do 2 to the power 6 okay so this is how you can get a uh, power of 2 that is less than the current number and the power of 2 that is greater than the higher number that is what we, we discuss in the solution either we can go towards the left or towards the right now we take the difference this is a different difference between 51 and 32 and this is d2 difference correct and now what is our aim our aim is to make this d1 difference to 0 and d2 difference to 0 and that's why we again call this function minimum operation on d1 minimum operation on d2 and we took minimum of them right minimum of uh, steps to make this d1 0 minimum steps to make d2 0 correct simple as that and you might be thinking why, why we uh, added one here so any whatever let's say uh let's say this d1 d1 took five operation and d2 took three operation then what we will choose we will choose d2 that is three operation okay but uh that is what so that is to reduce d2 to zero then afterwards let's say it was 51 to 64 and this difference was d2 and this d2 is now zero d2 is now zero that means our number is what our number is what 64 and now to reduce the 64 we need one step one step so that's why we added one here because what we were converting we were converting number to the closest power of 2 so we did we did that between d1 and d2 we reduced the difference between 51 and 64 but then to convert the 64 then um, to zero we uh, we need one steps so yeah that's why we added one step here i hope you guys understood that why we are adding one here and what we all things all things are what all things we are doing here okay so yeah this is how the recursive solution works whenever we have choices either to go left or right we write a recursive solution and recursive solution is this simple as it is what is log 2 this is log 2 it will, this will give the power correct so yeah i hope you guys understood each and every line of this code and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section okay and if you understood everything then like this video yeah uh, okay now talking about the time and space complexity see the time complexity here would be a bit higher uh, it would be somewhere uh, log uh, square of n base 2 it will be this time complexity how you derive of this time complexity it will see the time complexity here it would be big of t of log uh, base 2 of n so this is the time complexity uh, this is a, one separate topic that how we derive at this time complexity but till now understand that this is a time complexity and it is it is valid for this constraint it is valid and the space complexity is here also we will use some stack uh, this recursion will use some stack so yeah consider it somewhere between log of n okay simple as it is so yeah this is the time complexity and space complexity for this recursive solution so yeah that's all for this video thank you